Promo alert, promo alert, promo alert. Today is King David. Make sure y'all follow him on Instagram. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hit that like button, comment, and let him know I sent you. Hey, he just dropped a new banger called It's Murder. Make sure y'all go check it out. The link will be down in the comment section. It's, it's, it's murder on these streets. So I alert you, keep your heat. It's, it's, it's murder on these streets. So I alert you, keep your heat. Certified step, I'm the leader of this age shit. Let's get straight into it, man. The wait is finally over. Young Dolph trial started today, and it looked like Justin Johnson, a.k.a. Straight Drop, the only one on trial right now. Everyone else will go to trial after the jury decides Straight Drop, a.k.a. Justin Johnson, fate. A lot of people believe this is because everyone else took a deal or talking, and Straight Drop is not. The first day, the state came out swinging, played a video of Young Dolph, Getting shot in the cookie shop. Check it out. So we got a cookie store that sells fire butter cookies in the middle of the day at 12:21 in the afternoon. Stop here. Alright, so in 2021, people thought that was like a Lamborghini or something because they hadn't seen the new Corvette yet, really. They weren't around. That is, in fact, one of those new Corvettes. It has a special wrap on it, is what they call that. It. Uh, it's not something you can buy you know, from the dealership. You have to get that done yourself. Uh, well, here, that's a special wrap that the Memphis rapper, artist, Young Dolph, had on several of his vehicles. There's a couple times in this video where we'll just have to wait, but it's a matter of seconds, and it's the last seconds of his life, so we can we can wait for him. He'll stop there. All right. This taller man here in the yellow shirt, blue jeans, white shoes. His name is Adolf Thornton. Junior, you've heard me read it, read it a couple times now. He grew up in Memphis, the neighborhood he grew up in was Castalia, not terribly far uh, from this, also a neighborhood in South Memphis. <clears throat> You'll see a member of his family testify uh, this week, and she'll tell you a little bit about his background and his, his family. I'll tell you a little bit about him right now, though. He is an ambitious young man who is a rapper, Memphis rapper, who rapped about the things that he saw growing up and that he sees in his neighborhood in Memphis. Some of that is drugs, some of that is violence, some of that is crime, some of that is gangs. Whether or not we agree or disagree as to whether or not that subject matter, you know, or things we should be listening to or not, I can assure you it's real. You wrapped it up so that it's real. He wrapped it up, said that was true. And one of the things that meant everything to him 
in terms of what is real is he wanted to make it for himself. He wanted to make it for himself. He wasn't interested. He wasn't interested in joining others. He wasn't interested in being promoted by other people. He was all about making it himself. He felt like when he grew up, he called it his come up. That's what he called it, his come up. That it was rough and hard, but it was important that he got through it himself and he wanted to make it for himself. And he made it for himself as a rapper, as an artist. Young Dolph became famous. Shortened to Dolph. Very famous. Wanted to make it by himself. Wanted to be self made. But it wasn't just about him. Because he also wanted a record label. He wanted to promote other artists. He wanted to make them fans. And so he started not just his own rap career, but a record label. It was called Paper Root Empire. Paper Root. Like a young man or woman would have to make money on the side throwing papers. But also a play on the word paper. Is it meant this? Slang for money. Paper. It's sometimes abbreviated PRE. Paper Room Empire. Stop it there. This man here got out of the car with Dom. That's his brother. His name's Marty Thornton. His brother, his friend. This thing that we're about to watch has had a terrible impact on Marcus. Not just his brother and his friend, but he also works security for Dom. In fact, as Marcus walks into this cookie store, he has a gun on his person. And he has another gun in the car. Dolph was well aware. Well aware. Of the threats and the violence in CRG that were constantly hanging over him and his people. We'll wait 30 seconds. Stop there. <laughs> that car that just drove up came from this side of the parking lot. He had actually been following Dolph on the street when Dolph turned it off uh, and it went up to this light where it got stopped for a few seconds and then came around. It's a white Mercedes. There's other pictures where you'll be able to see it more clearly. But it's a white Mercedes with back end damage. Back here, uh, on the back passenger side of the car. It's a stolen car. It's a stolen car that our defendant here, Justin Johnson, traded for one car for another at a gas station 
about 10 hours before this is going to happen. This man got out of the passenger side of the white Mercedes. Door still open. We saw him run to the parking lot. He's here with a large semi-automatic weapon. He's in a hoodie. He's got sweatpants and he's got white shoes. We'll see a second man come out of the car too. Those two men that we're going to see come out of the car, they're going to gun off down. He's inside the business. He has walked over to sort of where the bathrooms are in the business. This is close. So I am to y'all. There was the window that he's getting shot through the window. Those of these men uh, will shoot. This one in particular, it looks like he's never shot this type of gun before. It's because he probably hasn't. No. The second man out of the car who's driving is our defendant, Justin Johnson. Neither one of these men are professional hit it, it looks like they don't take tactical shooting stances because they know. Let's watch uh, Mr. Johnson get out of the car. Can you stop here? This is Dolph here. Remember, he was wearing the yellow. This is Marcus. Remember, I told you he had a, a gun. He tries to return fire as these two men quickly uh, shoot Dolph. Dolph's body's riddled with. Uh, Bullets. He shot all in the back, in the face, in the neck, in his arms. The first man out was Cornelius Smith, and he has that semi-automatic weapon. Shooting wildly into the hole. The second man out was Justin Johnson, who has a handgun. He's firing, and obviously lays on the ground. Marcus Thornton. Starts firing back once he hears the shots. Now we see him emerge from the building. Can't tell in the video, but Marcus actually hits Cornelius in the shoulder. Uh, shoot back. I want to spend some time with two things. It's Mercedes. These two people. Justin Cornelius. They didn't fall out of the sky. On Wednesday. At 1220 in the afternoon. I had a cooking stuff. They had been looking. They had followed them. And for them. This just business. This was just business. They don't even know each other that well. Let's start with Cornelius. Cornelius is from this neighborhood, Orange Meadow. He's in his early 30s now. Yeah. Cornelius has had a serious drug problem. He does ecstasy and percent. He gets his drugs over on Rabbit Street. It's just over two miles from the scene. From a man whose name you have heard, Hernandez Gobe. They don't call him that, though. They call him Quet. His middle name is more Quet, and it's shortened to Quet. So Cornelius gets his drugs from Quet. Quet is what in Memphis we call our old head. Older guy. Lives in the neighborhood. Lifelong criminal. In and out of jail through the years. Quinn sells drugs. Quinn gambles on sports like crazy. Online sports stuff. 
and then Quest tries to identify young rappers and tries to shop them to CMG, hoping to get a cup. First thing I want to speak on, everyone was saying when it first happened, why didn't Dolph Brother slash security shoot back? The state said he did. Now, Cornelius Smith, the one with the assault rifle, was shot in the shoulder. That goes back to my video I made when Dolph was killed. I told y'all, people in Memphis said it was blood in the parking lot where the shooters was. And if you look closely, Dolph brother gun, it looked like it was empty or jammed. The state also played the video in the surveillance footage of Dolph inside the cookie shop. And I think this right here should stop all the conspiracy theories that everybody had when it first happened saying that Dolph was already dead and they placed his body in the cookie shop. Stop the cap. <laughs> Which was crazy to me from the beginning, but check it out. Make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe, turn on all post notifications. It's free. Do it for me. Is that the car arriving? Yes, sir. Do you know where they were arriving from? No, sir, I don't. Do you know if Dolph had been to Makita's before? Yes, sir. Had you ever been there with him? No, sir. Had you ever even tried the cookies there? No, sir. He ever taught you about the cookies? Yes, sir. Is that off? Yes, sir. The chain around his neck, have you set the PRE chain? Yes, sir. Is the one that we saw in the exhibit? Yes, sir. And that's Marcus behind him? Yes, sir. Hey, do me a favor. Look down right there to the bottom left and hit that like button for me. Hit that like button right there. I appreciate it. I continue watching. Promo alert. Promo alert. If you need promo, DM me on Instagram at music101ceo. $30 for one promo video on my YouTube. $50 for three promo videos on my YouTube. $70 for six promo videos on my YouTube. And $130 for 12 promo videos on my YouTube channel. Make sure y'all tap in and get that promo if you want to win.